today's video we will understand what is git fetch and what is the actual difference between git fetch versus git pull now if you try and see them both are actually doing the same thing but git pull does actually a more advanced version of git fetch git pull is actually git fetch plus git merge now it doesn't look to be very easy in words but i'll just give an example let's say i am in the hello.html file and i'll say that i'll make some changes over here that um trying to understand this what get fetch is i'll write one line and i'll commit the changes now if i'll go to command prompt and i'll write git fetch then what happens is that you see all these messages that a fetch has happened to our master branch but if i'll go to my editor then i do not see that line added over here why that is because git fetch actually just fetches all of the new changes that have occurred but it doesn't merge them into our local repository which is our current editor so for that you need to write git merge and as soon as i hit enter that i see merge made by the recursive strategy hello.html one plus one file change one insertion so now if i'll go over here i see that line trying to understand what git fetch is and so what this basically makes us understand is that git fetch actually does take the data which is present online into our systems but it requires your permission whether you want to add it or not but git pull on the other hand doesn't ask for that permission it straight away makes the changes so that is what the main difference is between git fetch and git, git pull hope you understood it thank you